directly to the father. It's just amazing. And, we, and it teaches to yield to that more God. Thank you, God. Anybody that wants to share, just go ahead. We're just going to yield to the Holy Spirit and just say what's on your heart. You know, um, actually, uh, last night, before the earthquake, um, I was <clears throat> in the office and um, I had a little bit of downtime. And I decided to start playing a random video that I saw about, you know, people trying a certain kind of food, seeing how they react to it. And, you know, I thought it'd be a little silly, a little, you know, cool to watch. And um, it turns out, you know, I'm not, I wasn't surprised, but it turns out these people that were on the video were Muslims. And um, at first, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, they're super friendly, very cheerful. Um, you know, as, as far as their demeanors, I was like, wow, these people are really like nice, you know, and of course, like, you, you think of people of the East, some people instantly think terrible things. And I, you know, I love cultures you know food you know stuff like that so that's why i watch these things and at one point um the spirit just completely for a few seconds took over my entire body um it was the first time this ever happened it kind of surprised me quite a bit actually um i was watching the video and at one point uh one of the people in the video said uh, you know, may, may their God bless you. And in that instant, I felt myself leaning forward and went, and my hand just goes like this. This is not my own like doing, like it just goes like this. And a voice comes out of me saying, I reject that in Jesus name. Whoa. And my hand instantly got super warm super warm and i couldn't believe it i was like like i'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it right now um it was insane but it was like spirit like what are you trying to tell me you know what's going on? and and i felt okay you know what i'm just gonna turn this off um this is probably not something for me uh so i just <laughs> i stopped watching these things but um it was it was so interesting how like it complete like somebody thousands of miles away you know uh, said one thing and the spirit just kind of took over me, me completely. Isn't this confirmation of what I say that during this time right now that the Holy Spirit is having His way, yes. where He's bypassing <laughs> everything about us that can stop Him from moving. Amen. Hallelujah! That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome experience yes oh my god so, i see see my hands are hot right now and i don't know why it is but anytime they heat up my left hand burns to the point of where it almost feels like i'm being hurt but it doesn't mm -hmm. hurt so i don't know what the difference is between the right and left i'm gonna have to do a study on that because the left hand's always hotter and i don't get that mm -hmm. but i i understand what you're saying yeah. about that and that's because the anointing was moving through you you're a yielded vessel that has told god yes and when it comes to the most important things he's gonna have his way and we've we've invited that we want his will even when we don't know what it is we have come to a place where we trust his love so much that he knows that he can use us as glory containers and fire starters for the kingdom of heaven because we are constantly living in two realms. Yeah. Yes. I have a question. Um, so if that would happen, if someone else said, may their God bless you, obviously, because that's a, not the real God. What if we say, God bless you to somebody? Like, if I would say that to work, what if they're not Christian? Like, should I not say that? Well, you know, using the word God is really a broad statement these days. But you go back to the Bible. Okay, so you got to look at how Jesus, Jesus walk, 
was with Father God. And Father God has so many different names. Elohim. I love that. that. That's like one of my favorite things to call him is Elohim. But when you say God bless you, you're, you're talking about Jesus and, and Jesus dad is what I say, just to keep it simple. <laughs> you know, God bless you, you know, Jesus dad. But um, if you're ever called out on it, I've been called out on it many times, like on social platforms and stuff. What God are you talking about? Jesus. Yeah. I, and I always say the only one that beat death and is still alive. Yeah. Um, you know, it's irrefutable. So Probably. it's okay for us to just say it then, right? It's not God bad. Bless you? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, that we, we are people that are walking in the authority of Jesus Christ, whether we know it or not. Yeah. And if you say, God bless you to somebody, that's an authoritative statement in the spirit realm that has the ability to change things around in their life. Of course, when it comes down to it, each and every person gets to decide what they want to come into agreement with. And they have to, you know, people have to take more laps around the mountain until they start getting it that it's really God trying to change us, not, not everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have to deal with that. And we're all going through that anyway, you know, but yeah, say God bless you as much as you want, because we have the same authority Jesus did. All right, good. That's good for me. <laughs> but don't be surprised if somebody, if somebody hits you with that at some point and says, well, oh, God, no, it already you. happened. I just don't want like, I don't know, like what he said, he saw in his vision, like, I don't want to do that wrong or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that was amazing. So um, as far as God having you rebuke it, Emilio, mm -hmm. something could have happened in the spirit for several yeah. people with you doing that, especially yeah. with the anointing present like that. God did something with that. Yeah, it was, it was really... Um... It's different because you know i i also thought of the whole you know can somebody say god bless you or their god you know and i mean i don't you know believe in their god so i what what do you really do and i mean th in this case it was just a, a video you know like, I've never felt like, of course, you, you know, I, every so often, if I hear something along those lines, where it's, it's not God, it's, you know, Allah or whoever, um, you know, I've, I've always kind of just, it was more of a thought, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I don't subscribe to this, and I don't accept it, or whatever. But, uh, this was the first time, like I said, like the spirit completely took over me and said, I, I, you know, <laughs> I don't accept this. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, I want to tell you in the Bible, what it was that you were rebuking. Okay. So, and I don't know how many amongst us right now are completely familiar with the story of Ishmael and, um, I just went blank. Isaac, <laughs> Isaac, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so we need to put ourselves in um, in her shoes. I haven't read the story for so long; their names are escaping me for a minute. Holy Spirit will remind me. Um, H H Hagar, Hagar. Okay, so she was pretty much an innocent person pulled into that, and she got severely wounded by that whole situation, but God loved her. I mean, he showed up, uh, he sent an angel out in the desert when they cast her out of the camp, it wasn't her fault, you know? Um, but however, with that being said, when the angel came upon Hagar and was talking about Ishmael, which this is where the, where the- uh, Amorites, right? where the Muslim nation was birthed. It says Ishmael will be a wild donkey of a man. Mm -hmm. His hand will be against every man continually fighting and every man's hand against him. Ooh, you put your hand in. 
and he will dwell in defiance of all of his brothers. Mm -hmm. This is where, this is where the Muslim nation got its start. It was, it began in rebellion, defiance, and it was because of Abraham and Sarah not being able to wait for God's promise, which mm -hmm. when you think about it, come on, we've all, you know, what would you do? How long are we going to wait for God's promises? I'll tell you what, I've been waiting for God, uh, promise, <laughs> God's uh, promise that, from God for five years now. And I get very weary and it's only been maybe seven years, five years. I don't know. But through the weariness and all this time, I've gotten to know him as father and friend mm -hmm. and the one who'll never leave me as provider, you know, but they were 90 when they had Sarah. But my point being is this is pretty amazing scripture. His name will be Ishmael. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against every man continually fighting and every man's hand against him. And he will dwell in defiance of all of his brothers. Mm -hmm. So really, Emilio, that's what you were rebuking. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole nation built over there like that. However, it's God's will for them to be loved by him. Mm -hmm. The living God not not the god that commands them to pray five times a day that doesn't his our god the one and only true god his whole agenda is based in love <laughs> yes hallelujah anyway i didn't this wasn't intended to be uh yeah actually it's all, it's all good stuff you know? it is um, I actually found myself even praying for these people after the, the yeah. event, you know, um, it was really interesting. Uh, yeah. That's that, that's just what I felt come over me, you know, great yeah. God uh, because they, they are great people, great, like, you know, uh, you know, attitudes, they're very grateful because in this video also, <laughs> they had been given things and they're like giving thanks for everything. It's just like they're, you know, they have really cool attitudes they're just a, a little lost you know and um <laughs> yeah, and, we're, and we're ambassadors of reconciliation trying to tell people no matter where they're from or what mm -hmm. that your debt's been paid Amen. just come on in and and receive the father's love i mean and mm -hmm. it, it, it seems so cliche we say well the full the fullness of the father's love was displayed in the crucifixion of jesus well, until God really opens up your spiritual eyes to that, you don't even feel any remorse over it. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first started feeling remorse over it, it was when I was in prison and I just could not get past the fact that they ripped the beard out of his face. It wrecked me. I mean, out of all the things they did to him, even like right now, tears are welling up in my, when I think about them ripping the beard out of Jesus's face, it just, it wrecks me. It still does. But I lived the first 40 years of my life. I didn't know those details, though. Just, you know, hearing what you hear, going through life uh, and ha having no effect on me. But right now we're living in a time where God's pouring out a spirit on all flesh. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to hold up the Muslim nation to you, Lord, right now. Emmanuel, go ahead and pray. You, you just have this encounter. Let's pray for them for, to receive God's love. Lord. We just lift up the Muslim nation to you. We pray that you just love on them like you love on us. Lord. That you help them in their everyday life, Lord, that you help them and guide them to your word, Lord. In the end, at the end of the day, you are in control. You know exactly what's in our hearts, Lord. And your will will always be done, not ours. And Lord, as lost as we are sometimes, you will always extend your arm and reach out for us so that we may be <laughs> lost no more. Uh,
Lord, just we pray for supernatural change in these people that you really do pull them out from the darkness that they're in. Lord, we're all lost at one point, but you've helped a lot of us. And your work isn't done yet, but it's continuing. Or we just pray that you just watch over them, Lord, and do what you will. Fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Give them supernatural encounters. And Lord, may they get deliverance one day. We pray that on them. We pray your love over them. That nothing that they ever use to attack us will prosper. And that they just <laughs> just get wrecked in the spirit one day, Lord. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I'm just I'm just hearing in the spirit that not one of our words is going to fall to the ground in this season. That every single thing that lines up with God, He's gonna He's He's here to for to will and to do everything that we're praying. We've got Jesus' notary, stamp of notary on it. I'm, all, of our, all of us here have been through that heart purification process, and that's when he starts honoring what we say. There's no mixture. There's no strange fire, you know, because our hearts are pure towards him. Thank you, know, you Lord. <clears throat> I saw recently uh, videos of uh, people trying to evangelize in the East, um, and they just get spat on. Um, and you know, it, it moved me so much to see this, that Can I stop you for one second. I had, I had no idea that that was happening, but while you were praying, God was telling me, I'm going to, I'm going to attach to that prayer because he was showing me something father, the underground movement in the middle East for your glory. Mm -hmm. We're asking for extra protection for them, extra boldness to get out there and say with boldness, boldness, Jesus died for us. Allah did not. These people that have taken on your heart, Lord, we're asking for extra protection around them. First, the boldness. And we're asking for a new legions of warring angels to keep them protected and encouraged as they go along the way in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Amen. I didn't have to say that because God was telling me to pray that while you were praying. So I didn't know that was happening, but now I know why he was wanted us to release that. Okay. Yeah. Emilio has news about his friend too, from work that he forgot to share last week. Oh, about the guy you we've been praying for. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm consistently asking him if he's heard anything from his mom or, you know, his brother because of the whole situation. You know, I've been really worried and just in prayer for him. And um, he says they're fine. Nothing's happened since. Um, no attacks, no threats, no nothing. Um, so when we pay, see what happens when we pray a hedge of protection, God honors it. He doesn't have us pray these things. And then he'd sit back and just like, just decide whether or not he's going to do it. Right. He does it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, um, he's still going through a process himself, but um, just, just overall. Yeah. Um, blessings just have been coming down upon him and his family. Uh, they're doing a little better. Of course, you know, his mom is still sick, <clears throat> but we're praying for that too. Um, just nothing, no, no, no nothing this, that was going on before is happening. Like now. with the cartel, wasn't right, right. right. 
Um, I mean, they were, they were getting death threats. You know, uh, if you don't join us, we're going to kill you. Father, and, we want to lift them up just like the Muslims. Anybody around the world that is out on the fringes, they're deeply wounded. That's why they act that way. God, we see their woundedness. And we release dunamis power into every single layer of their soul. They've been wounded. Ooh. <laughs> no, they've been wounded. And not only have they been wounded, they've been brainwashed. They have no idea how good you are, Lord. They have no idea how merciful you are, Lord. They have no idea that the apostle Paul was killing your people and you, God, we're asking for a road to Damascus experience for all of these people that are being terroristic out on the fringes of society and every state and every nation. We ask that you show up and you just put the slap down on them long enough for them to understand how good you are, God. Hey, hey. in the name of Jesus. Ha ha. Thank you, Lord. It shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> Goosebumps. Whew. Yeah, when you, when you started that prayer and then I closed my eyes, I, it, I seen... <laughs> So vividly, clearly, a black book with uh, the, a cutout of, of, a, of a man's silhouette in white. I don't know what that what that was referenced or whatever. But it was so prominent and like clear when I closed my eyes and saw that. And it, just after you started praying, are you talking to Emilio? No, nope. yeah, I'm talking to all of us. Like, like just well, when you started praying, Trish. Um, about um, them over there and lifting them up and stuff like that. I closed my eyes to pray, you know, to, to join your prayer. Like I saw just a, a black book with the cutout of, with the silhouette of a, from like the waist up of a man in the book. I don't, I don't know what that. What God that just told is. me what it was. Well, he just now told me what you're, what you were seeing. The word okay. became flesh and dwelt among them. Um, hey, yeah, hey, hey, I saw it clearly. I was like, what is awesome. this? I'm seeing, like, you know, when I close my eyes, it was interesting. You become a seeing? There's a vision. <laughs> the seer is like if I see about here. Uh, yeah, that was just like I got a vision. No, that's, you know what? And, and if expect new gifts and expect oh, yeah. the power on the gifts to increase right now, it's that time of the year. Yes. You guys are going to notice now that we've talked about this. I don't know if you've ever talked about it through these September, October, November months. You're going to, there's a shift in the spirit. The Gregorian calendar, God never changes. He still, uh, he uses the Jewish calendar. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and it goes along with our prayers. Like we, every time we've been praying for the last couple of weeks, it's always, you know, Father build us, grow us in our, in our gifts and our strengths, you know, for what you have in plan for the seasons, you know, give us what we need and enhance our, our eyes to see our ears, to hear you better and our sound mind to, for more understanding, you know, and that's part of our prayers every time we pray daily. So, and yeah, they're, they're growing. growing. The spirit came up on me one day. Who, who was it? I was talking to Portia. And I was actually thinking doing something else on the side. And I st stood up and opened my fridge and got the spirit almost dropped me to the floor right in front of <laughs> my fridge. And I, I was texting with Portia. I said, I have to get back to you later. It's been so like, even right now, I can't sit still. He's yeah. not having it. He's doing something, you guys. And yeah. we only know in part and prophesy in part. He doesn't give any one person the whole big picture because of course, you know, he knows that we'd get in there and mess things up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if we knew everything, right? Yeah. But yeah. Body, we're just each bringing one piece into this. And Father, in the name of Jesus, all of this energy and this power that you have been just poured into me this last week, I release it to these guys in the name of Jesus. I'm in part oh, yeah. you, you say see. What you freely give to us, we are to freely give it away. I'm giving it away to them, Lord. 
because I know that there is so much more. You guys just receive. Receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, you, Lord, for your mercy, your it's grace, beautiful. your peace, your kindness, and your power. Thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for firmly settling in it in every single one of us that this life is not where it's at. We are just passing through. Thank you, Lord, for making it so that we don't get too attached to anything here, that we just attach ourselves. We're yoked up with Jesus. Jesus, yep. put, put your yoke on us. We want it, God. We want more of you. Yep. We want less of us, Lord. You have things for every one of us to do as we go about our day. Well, you have this like plan for all of us. Like the 139th Psalm says, you're standing in our future, lighting away the path, submitting us to come. And you come up behind us and keep the harms of our, keep our past from harming us. We are so triple wrapped in love, direction, protection, that it's outrageous. <laughs> so at the times where these thoughts come up that we're that we're just like not feeling it or we're not seeing it or any of that god just keep us in remembrance of your word holy spirit guides us into all truth more fire and more love is what any about us that's all we ever need god's got the details worked out more fire more love and just to become sensitive to your spirit to release a word like what Emilio did as he was watching that video just like Devin did when he saw the word becoming flesh and dwelling among them as we sent out that prayer hey. and you're giving me the interpretation yes, and for the the light you put in under the salt and the light she is the salt and light container of our group and we just love her and we honor her and we honor what Lonnie's doing and Adriana, the sweetness that comes out of all of us, God, because we've been so thoroughly loved by you. We're wide receivers, Lord. We're open up to receive all of your goodness, all of your mercy. We're receiving your power, your plans, your perfection, God. Jesus is coming back for a, a bride that has no spot or wrinkle, and it's us. There's no plan B. We're it. We are the remnant. We are part of this amazing remnant that's going to establish the kingdom of heaven on yeah. this earth, according to your will, Lord. Doesn't matter what the enemy's doing. He's going out kicking and screaming right now is what he's doing. Cheating, lying, <laughs> stealing. He's just doing what he does. And God is going to just keep on doing what he does. And guess what? <laughs> he's that all the darkness is being coming up to the surface and it's going to be pushed out. Jojo Dawson delivered a word this morning. It was talking about how the, the ship is turning and the, those great big ships, you guys, if you've ever seen them turn, you can't hardly even see them turn because they're so big, but they turn. And that's what's happening right now on the earth with the children of God. The sons of God's are man the sons of God are manifesting his kingdom. Creation's even been crying out for it. We're part of that. I mean, how, how, how God we're honored. We're blessed. We love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for your goodness in Jesus name. Amen. 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 I can feel it. I can wow. feel it. My, that tears head. Coming out. My hands is like, woof, woof. like all the, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, like it's the, the anointing. Anointing. Yeah, Holy vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. Holy Spirit wanted oh. me to touch on something that Lonnie said too earlier about um, doing it perfect or, or uh, not doing it right. Um, we're all good, you know. The Holy Spirit was. Yeah. Oh Jesus, thank you. Oh Heavenly Father, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Oh, you're so amazing. Holy, 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 you almighty. Oh, Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't even talk. Oh, oh wow. we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Oh, I love this. Thank oh. you, for the Lord. I love that. This is transferable. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Why he's wow. been doing this to me all week. I can't hold yes. Yes. He wants to give it away. 
And then Thank you. Pod, we're all going to give it away wherever we go. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yeah, the Holy Spirit was telling me that you don't worry about not doing it perfect or doing it right because there's only one that could do it right and do it perfect. And that was Jesus.